Okay, I'm going to teach you in this video how to do a transformation called a rotation. So you will be given a shape on a coordinate grid. Uh, this time it's a triangle. And you will be asked to rotate it 90 degrees. So the best way, in my opinion, to do this is to pick it up and rotate it. And a rotation is just a that's a reflection. <laughs> That's okay. A rotation is a turn. It has a T. Rotation is a turn. And a reflection is a flip. So this is a rotation, so you turn it. Now, 90 degrees, how many turns would that be? One. One. Show me one. One turn. One. Now, it said clockwise. Sometimes it'll say counterclockwise. This one says clockwise. So if it says clockwise, you should turn it in the same direction as the clock. clock. And you can just look at the clock, shot of the clock, and the red hand is going that way. So we're going to turn it that way. So turn it around so you can see yours. And I will do this. We're going to turn it one turn. Ready, go. That way. Now, look at your board. What quadrant is that in? Four. 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 Remember, quadrants follow the letter C. My gun <laughs> fell back to the list. <laughs> okay, so it follows the letter C. And one, two, three, four. It's in quadrant four. And what are the new points of this shape? One, one negative three. One, negative three. Pause. Okay, let's go over here and put one. It was at three, one, now it's at one, negative three. What are the coordinates of the second point? One, negative eight. One, negative eight. What are the coordinates of the third point? Nine, negative eight. Nine, negative eight. Now I want to show you something interesting. This one was three, one, and now it's one, negative three. This one was eight, one, and the new one is one negative eight. So there's actually a pattern going on here. Anytime you do a rotation 90 degrees clockwise, clockwise there's a rule uh, that you can just flip these around and negate the X term. But in my opinion, nobody can ever remember that because there's a different set of rules if you rotate it 180 degrees and a different set of rules if you rotate it 270 degrees and a different set of rules if you rotate it counterclockwise. So to me, that's pretty much useless. <coughs> so it's easier to me if you just start, oh, I forgot what it was in the beginning. Here it was. It was like, oh, it's a smiley face. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get rid of the C. It's a one-eyed smiley, smiley face. So it was like that, and we rotated it like that. It ended up in four. So if you're doing this, you just say, oh, pick, my, pick up my piece of paper, turn it, write down the answer, and then if you need to graph it, turn it back and graph it. And that's it.